Hey guys, Shocky here bringing you guys a new Pokemon Spotlight and today we're looking at Dragalgi. This is a Dragon Poison type Pokemon that can do a lot of damage to your opponent via just sitting back and stalling out. I mean, it's just a really good wall. Uh, if you want to see that, make sure you guys check out my video that I posted the day before this one and uh, definitely enjoy that and check him out in an actual battle. But anyways, let's get to his base stats. So he has a pretty low 65 HP I mean that's not very good but uh, with his bulk that actually doesn't really even matter his attack is 75 not too too bad defense 90 that's really good when considering his special defense is ginormous also special attack 97 you can even make it a special attack set with this thing that's how good it is special defense 123 so this thing is just huge when it comes to special defense the thing can sit there and take hits all day and uh not even be scared a little bit uh and then we have the 44 speed which is not very good you're not going to really worry about that anyway especially with the set i have going the speed is the most irrelevant part of him uh he only has four weaknesses he has ice ground psychic and dragon you know uh, the, he would have fairy scenes how he's dragging, but he's also poisoned, so he actually can take a fairy hit without worrying about it. And that's a really good thing because he can fight fairies while being a dragon and taking out dragons also. So it's just, it, it's a really good thing. And he resists so many things. He has seven resists right now. So he has resist grass by, you know, uh, four times. He has resist fire, water, electric, fighting, poison, and bug. That is insane. He can just take hits from all of those. Grass, fire, water, electric, poison are all special attacker sets that you will be up against, as well as ice and psychic. So he can take hits from ice and psychic Pokemon. Dragon and ground are often physical and can get him close to dead, but he's usually able to take a dragon claw from a full... Um, from a full attack invested Dragonite, so just know that it's it's really really good. Uh, he can just he can take quite a beating and keep on going. So let's get to his moves. So the move set that I'm using on this stall set is a Sludge Bomb, but you can use Venoshock. And the reason why you can use Venoshock is because most of the time everything you're fighting is going to be poisoned. So you might want to run that over the sludge bomb pending on your you know what you want because the venom shock actually becomes double damage when the opponent is poisoned so that means it, it's just a lot better than sludge bomb i think it's base 50 or 60 venom shock is so at least uh, 100 to 120 is so much better than the 90 that sludge bomb is so i mean that's up to you uh, water Pulse to Surf. I'm running the Water Pulse just for the fact that it can get the Confusion, which just upsets them more. If they're Poison and Confused, they don't even want to be playing. And that's a plus for you. So you can just sit there, Water Pulse them, set up Toxic Spikes, you know, Poison them, and then they're just dying. They're punching themselves in the face, and they're, they're taking Poison damage every turn. It's just a good time for you. Uh, you don't want to run Toxic on him because it just takes up a move. It, it's irrelevant, and uh, you just you you don't need it because the Toxic spikes are much better, and you need the the coverage of those three moves. Especially Dragon Tail is the most important move that you're going to be running, and the reason for that is because you're going to set up Toxic spikes against their maybe Stall or their you know whatever Pokemon they lead with, uh, maybe even. Uh, um, their sweeper and their sweepers trying to set up they don't expect the dragon tail ever you do the dragon tail they they got two sword dances off now they're starting over and they're so disappointed so i i mean it's just a good disruptive move it allows you to take a shot from a special attacker who maybe did set up and then just sweep him out and he's going to be so disappointed he gets sent it on the toxic spikes his next dude's poisoned and he's going to be just very frustrated and annoyed with the whole situation. So, Dragon Tail, definitely a move that you should be running on your Dryalgi if you're running this set. And maybe even if you're not. And since I'm running the Dragon Tail, I am actually going with the Poison Touch over the Poison Point. Uh, physical attacks, you don't really want to take with him as much as the special attacks. I mean, you can because his defense is so high anyway. But uh, 
definitely if you're running the dragon tail you want the poison touch so that way the first pokemon that you fight can actually get poisoned it, it has a 30 percent chance i believe so you just dragon tail knock him back poison him with the 30 percent and uh you're happy because now that poison that pokemon's poisoned and if it's a flying pokemon that doesn't hit, get hit by your toxic spikes definitely worth having the poison point anyway so definitely uh gonna say that so the evs are actually 252 hp 252 special defense and then i have six in special attack which counts for four and the nature is calm so he's just full special defensive set just super tank uh there's another set that you can run with this and that's going with the same EVs, same nature, but instead of Toxic Spikes, you run another attack move, Assault Vest. Now this thing is just never going to die to special attacks. I mean, this is a set that's uh, more utility than it is actually viable, in my opinion. It, it, it can fit into a team, but uh, I, I just think this is overall a better set and so, something that you should be using is this over that. So, But, I mean, it is viable. Uh, we're going to go into other notable moves. We got Hydro Pump, Twister, Focus, Blast, Haze, Play Rough, Draco, Meteor. I actually thought about running Haze, but uh, in the end, Haze, is, uh, Haze and Play Rough are actually egg moves, so just be wary of that. I forget to write that. But uh, I was thinking about running Haze on this set, but it just couldn't fit the room in it. It is really good, but the Dragon Tail does the exact same thing but actually knocks him out of battle also, so I don't know. It, it, it's all dependent on what you want to do, but uh, I think the Dragon Tail is way better. Play Rough is interesting, though his attack's just too low to be able to uh, take advantage of that. Of course, the Draco Meteor is always good, and then we have the Focus Blast, always good. Twister, good. You know, Twister hits some of the things that he's he can't really fight too well, so, uh, I mean, that might be good, too. And Hydro Pump, of course, is always good. You can run that instead of Surf or Water Pulse, but I would consider running one of those over Hydro Pump. And this is a team that I thought would be pretty good in OU to use Dryalgi because you don't really need another tank. You need to put out damage as fast as possible because you're going to get those Toxic Spikes down. You're going to get those, you know, um, those Dragon Tails in there. And you're going to need a ghost Pokemon to stop the Rapid Spinner. So what better ghost Pokemon than Gengar? Gengar is just really good. It can just kill a ton of things. Also, if they're poisoned, this is going to allow Gengar to just sit there and, you know, uh, be able to kill them through Focus Sash because he does so much damage too. And he has a really good move pool. So, you know, Choice Specs or something like that on the Gengar. Life Orb maybe over the Black Sludge, because it's going to be run the Black Sludge on the Dryalgi anyways, so uh, I forgot to write that again, didn't I? So yeah, and you could just sit there and just keep beating away on those opponents with him, and they won't be able to rapid spin away, so definitely go with Gengar, Dryalgi and Gengar are made for each other, and then we have the Starmie, uh, the reason why we're going to run Starmie is because its move coverage is really good. It allows you to take fire hits, uh, which, you know, one of your Pokemon is really weak against. Also allows you to take water hits, which one of your Pokemon is really weak against. And it allows you to take psychic uh, moves, which two of your Pokemon, or three of your Pokemon are actually really weak against. So, overall, it's just a really good Pokemon to be running. It has the rapid spin, of course. You know, the Thunderbolt, of course. You, it just, it's a really good Pokemon to be running in this slot. And it has so much utility on this team. And then we're going to run Demanitan because he has the Choice Scarf. He can hit faster than anything. It's pretty much like he has priority except against priority moves. So he's just, he's a really good damage uh, dealer and allows you to just revenge kill so many things. And he's just a really solid choice here. And then we have the Mega Mobile. We're going to need something that could take a fairy hit and also be able to kill dragons. So why not Mega Mawile? It has so much utility. It can just go with the Play Rough, kill a dragon, or it can go with the Iron Head because I run an Iron Head set and uh, kill any fairy out there. So Mega Mawile, definitely the best choice here. Also kills uh, opposing ghosts and uh, yeah, just stuff like that. So it's, it's just a really, really good Pokemon in this spot. And then of course, our last Pokemon is actually going to be Conk Elder. Just for those Mach Punches and Ice Punches that we might need and it's just or or even the knockoffs knockoff is really good especially against you know the psychic and the the uh ghost pokemon that he might be going up against just to get their item off while they switch in on him 
it's just uh, he's just really good Pokemon to have and uh, just really good overall utility. Most of this team is is there for the utility because Dryalgi will just take over a game by himself, even though he doesn't have recovery, as you could see in my last video. But uh, he he doesn't really need it. He just recovers himself anyways. But this is this seems like a good team. You don't need a second you know stall. You don't need a, a defensive stall. You don't need any of that. You just go poison them, prevent them from stopping the poison, and just kill all their guys that they play after that. And this is a really good balance of that. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you guys rate, subscribe, comment. Make sure you guys check out that last video I posted. And I will see you guys later.